So I'm introducing a project you can do at home. I'm going to use some vinegar, baking soda, and then some plastic Ziploc bags. Uh, you can use any size you like. I'm going to try the sandwich bag, but there's the quart bags, and if you really want to go big, uh, there's the gallon bags. To do this scientifically, it'll help if you have some measuring devices like these measuring spoons, measuring cups, so you can be precise in your measurements. Not essential, but it'll help. In this project, your objective is to inflate a bag with gas, but you'll make the gas using the reaction of baking soda and vinegar. And your goal is to get it just right so the bag is filled with gas. Uh, if you make too much gas, it'll pop. And if you don't make enough gas, it'll be this limp, wobbly thing, which we don't want. So fill the bag with the gas precisely so that it's full. So here I have baking soda and I have my measuring spoons. This is a teaspoon. So my teaspoon, six grams of baking soda in one teaspoon. Tablespoon is this bigger spoon. That'll be three times as much. I'm doing this experiment outside because the vinegar is kind of smelly. And I'm also using this bucket here in case the bag pops. I don't want a mess to get everywhere. I haven't really measured things well, I'm just guessing. But I'll dump my vinegar into the bag and try to seal it up quickly. Whoa, Whoa there it goes. Look at that. It's amazing. It's inflating. It's puffing up. It's getting really puffed up. Okay, I'm going to put it in the bucket there. And that's really full. I'm afraid it's going to pop. Ooh, it got cold. Uh, you may remember that the uh, reaction, the less than zero reaction got cold. This one's getting cold too. All right, so that's not bad. It's really puffed up nice and full. So looks like I guessed well. If you have leftover baking soda, you'll be able to see it. Um, so I don't see any leftover baking soda. So you're trying to get this effect with the minimum amount of baking soda and vinegar uh, so that you're not wasting anything. So I'm hoping that'll give you some science to do. Uh, certainly you can keep a data table and say I, when I use this much baking soda and this much vinegar, these are the results, and try to optimize that. Uh, in the end, I'm hoping you'll be able to share your experimental results via Flipgrid and have some fun in the process. Another thing I want you to do is to engineer a way that you can have these both in the bag and then seal it shut before the reaction starts. In my case, when I did this, you know, the bag is open and I'm losing gas. So if you can find a way to delay the reaction, please do. Engineer it so that the reaction won't start until you zip it up and then blah, start the reaction. 